This tutorial will show, how to create a wiring table. To implement this we must have a technician plan we made before and the wiki guide. The link is given in the video description. Theory shows the generic methods of cable parameters calculation. And we recommend to use this theory for big or not standard escape rooms with the large cable traces. For the most standard escape rooms with cable traces at most 10 meters, use the table with pre-calculated parameters. Our escape room is standard and we will use the table. We create a wiring table to trace cable between the control system and all of the elements inside the game rooms. We have a recommended table view with the header you see on the picture. Now I will describe what each column means in details. Cable marking shows the name of the label you should make for each cable. These labels will help to avoid of confusion with a lot of cables the future. You can see cables marking system in our wiki guide, the same guide as name system recommendation. The link is given in the video description. The next three columns, are combined as cable trace from, usually references to the game room element with the details like, element name and room reference. The channel description we skip for a while. The next three columns, are combined as cable trace to, references to the second cable endpoint. Usually this is a control system or other elements located in the game master room or technician room. The channel description we skip for a while too. Minimal cable requirement and recommended cable are the target columns. Minimal cable requirement shows minimal wires count and minimal cut in square millimeters. But if we have exact cable model we specify this model in the recommended cable column. Channels and electrical interface columns are filled here, but they will be discussed later, in the next lessons. And now, for the cable tracing, we need only the columns you see marked on the video. Now I will show how to fill the wiring table and how it must be interpreted by the technicians. Let's explore the speaker A1.1, for example. The cable goes from the speaker is located in the room C to the amplifier A1 located in the game master room. Cable is marked with label like this. Minimal requirements are the following. We need two wires cable, with the cut at least 4 square millimeters for each wire. Let's explore another example, the camera for CCTV. The cable goes from the camera is located in the room A to the CCTV video recorder, located in the game master room. Cable is marked with label like this. Recommended cable model is here. Now I we will discuss all other cables are used in the current escape room. Audio speaker must be plugged with the thick copper two wires cable to have a good low frequencies, like bass, while playing the music. Video cameras must be plugged with a specific cable like here or maybe the analog one. Active microphones are usually plugged using three wires cable, two wires of which are used for power supply and the third one for the analog audio output. Let's go on. We recommend to plug electromagnetic locks using two wires cable like this. RGB LED strips must be plugged with four wires cable, one wire is used as the common power supply, and the other three wires are plugged to the red, green and blue channels. Generic LED strips must be plugged with two wires cable. UV lamps and laser we recommend to plug using two wires cable as well. Generic buttons with a dry contact can be plugged with a thin two wires cable. Emergency exit buttons are plugged sequently by the normal closed contact using two wires cable in the circuits of all interior doors electromagnetic locks. You can see the schematic on the video. This button's purpose is to allow players or the game master to open any door in any time in emergency case, like fire or if someone gets sick. Passive sensors like, dry contacts in buttons, reeds, limit switches and different resistive elements like photoresistors or pressure sensors, plug using thin two wires cable as well. Active sensors are usually plugged using three wires cable, two wires of them has the power supply for the sensor and the last one is used for the sensor signal output. Smoke generators are usually plugged with thin two wires cable like a button, we emulate the press. 
AC voltage power supply we recommend to plug using three wires cable. The Ethernet cable must be plugged using UTP or FTP generic cable. You can find a result wiring table in the video description.